The closed claim study from the doctor's company had several key insights that I thought were very interesting. One was is that the majority of the claims against orthopedic surgeons actually had nothing to do with the quality of the care, but was more the patient's perception of the care that was rendered. Two important variables in this was, number one, that the patient's expectations were somehow not met by the orthopedic surgeon, and the second cause was that the patient sued the orthopedic surgeon for known complications from the procedures that the orthopedic surgeon performed. As a result of the closed claim study, our practice carefully reviewed our internal processes and our risk management guidelines to try to ensure that we were doing all we could to benefit from the learnings of the study. Resurgence Orthopedics is a very large orthopedic practice in Metro Atlanta with 96 orthopedic surgeons and physiatrists, around 50 mid-level providers, and we cover 21 sites across the city. We have a quarterly meeting devoted completely toward risk management every year, and during this meeting we went over the study to determine what we could do better and how we could improve our communication to better help patients get clear and accurate expectations and also better inform them of the potential complications of the procedures we perform. One of the things that we decided to do as a practice was to leverage the benefit and the power of our electronic health records, both in the office and in the hospital setting. For instance, we decided to really focus extensively on the use of secure email so that the communication with the patients would be greatly enhanced, because many times the patients would like to communicate with us after our offices are closed or while our medical assistants are busy doing other things. The EHR can also be a very effective tool to pass good patient education out so that they can learn better about the complications of the procedures we perform and also get better expectations about what we can provide. It is well known that electronic health records can help us with the care of our patients, but without the appropriate protocols that we need to develop, they can also hinder our care as well. We need to be careful to develop specific order sets that get us the appropriate post-operative antibiotics and DVT prophylaxis after surgery, but also other important things like physical therapy protocols that will ensure correct weight-bearing status and range of motion of joints so that patients don't develop contractures or complications after procedures. At Resurgence Orthopedics, we focus extensively on patient safety and risk management. However, after reviewing the closed claim study, we made some important changes to our practice to try to reduce our risk and provide better care to our patients.